It's the Happy Hippo Harmonium channel here, and today we're going to look at how to play one of Krishnadasa's Maha Mantras. So, everything's explained in the video, but the only thing that I want you to do is to make some suggestions on new videos that I should make so that I stay motivated. So, enjoy the video, and I hope you learn something. Alright, so let's check out how to play a version of the Maha Mantra by Krishnadas. So, this version of the Maha Mantra is played in the key of a minor and consists of four chords and these chords are A minor so A, C and E then it has a C major so that's a G, a C and an E then it has an F so that's an A, a C and an F and it also has a G and that's a G, a B and a D so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole song through for you guys and then you'll see, you can just watch and listen, and you probably learn a little bit like that, and then I'll break it up for you. So it goes like this. <clears> Hare <throat> Krishna Hare Krishna 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 So those are all four um, parts of the song. I thought I'd make that little change so that I play the song at, um, through at the beginning of the video so that if you're already familiar with all the chords and stuff you can actually learn most of it just in those first few minutes and then I'd explain how to play it afterwards just in case there's a couple of things you want to touch up on. Right, so let's break down the um, progressions. So, as you will have seen if you watched closely, this song consists of basically four different melodies and these melodies are played over two progressions. So the first two melodies are played over a single progression and the next two melodies they're played over another progression. So what I'll do is I'll break down each melody and um, before I do that I'll show you the progression. So let's have a look at the first progression. It goes like this, it goes A minor to C to F to C and then to G. A couple of things to note with this progression is that um, firstly the chords are held for either a count of two or for a count of four. So I'll, I'll play the progression, I'll play through the progression and then you can um, see which chords are held for a count of two or a count of four based on my counting. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. So in case you missed it, the F and the C. The C which follows the F 
those are played for a count of two, the rest are all played for a count of four. So, looking at the first melody on this progression, it's that slow Hare Krishna, that introduction, so it goes, Hare Krishna, and then I like to play an, a G to bring me to the C. Hare Krishna, transitioning G, Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. And then I like to go like this. So that's... That little, uh, I don't know, melody in there brings me back nicely to the A minor. So the only thing that you've got to note with this uh, melody is that you don't actually sing on the first beat. So the re of the ha re, that lands on the second beat. So what that means is that just prior to the second beat, you've got to start singing the ha. Again, in my opinion, it's not something you really need to know intellectually. What I would recommend is I always recommend is play along to the song. Or play the song over and over multiple times and you'll get that feeling for it. So you, you can, I mean it is quite hard, but you could try and count yourself in. But again, because by the time you say one to count yourself in, you've almost already got to be saying ha, because that's on beat one and a half. It's worth a go, but I probably wouldn't recommend it that way. I'd just simply recommend playing along to the song. When we look at the second melody, however, this is a little bit easier because it doesn't require any counting in, because in fact it starts immediately. The second you press the chord down, you're singing. So how does this part go? It follows the exact same chord progression, but it's just the melody is slightly different. So it goes like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Ha. So that ha, that first ha, is on the first A minor. Again, in my opinion, not too hard. Practice, practice, practice. Now we move on to the second progression. So again, that second progression also has two different melodies. So let's look at the progression first of all. This progression is, in actual fact, really simple. It's only got four chords in it. Very, very common progression. It goes A minor to F to C and then to G. And in this progression, all chords are held for a count of four. So there's nothing, no little extra bits to this. This, um, the first melody, is probably the trickier of the two melodies. So let's have a look at that. In this case, you're singing that long hare. So it goes hare. The only thing that you have to note here is that you're actually coming in with the first, with the ha of the hare prior to hitting the A minor. So if you watch my fingers, it goes ha re. I actually strike the A minor or play the A minor chord when I'm singing the re. So what that means is, as you'll know, the progression is A minor. F, C, and the final chord is G, that means that the Ha of the Ha Re is sung on the final chord. So, it goes like this, it goes Ha Re. That's the only thing you really need to note with this um, progression. And once you're in it, it's really easy to continue, but it's getting into it that makes it hard. So, what, why, is that, why is it hard to get into it? Well, it's because you've effectively got to sing the ha of the ha re while the audience is still responding from another, from say, melody two of chord progression one. So, what I can try and do is I can try and give you a demonstration of that. It's going to be a little bit complex, or a little bit hard, I should say, because I don't have an audience at the moment. 
so I don't have a response. But I can try. So it goes like this. So if I sing melody two of chord progression one. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And so on. So you'll note that I had to overlap slightly with um, the end of melody 2 of progression 1 with this current melody here. It takes a little bit of practice and but it's not that hard. It, what it really requires is confidence because you've got to get in there, you've got to start singing before the audience or the crowd or the response um, has finished what they're singing. But that's the only hard part in, in that um, melody. So let's look at the final melody of progression chord progression 2 so it goes like this Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare in my opinion there's nothing difficult about this one it's probably the most easiest um, well, I should say the easiest melody in um, you know out of the four melodies that we are playing here um, and this one is probably actually the one that goes off the most people love this melody it's uh, there's something about it maybe it's the chord progression but if you really introduce this right in terms of you have that nice build you can stay you know you can play that uh, melody for a good 30 odd minutes and people just they just go and go and go so yeah that's basically it I don't think the song is too hard but if you have any questions please just leave them in the comment box and yeah if you if something if I didn't explain something correctly or something's you know you got a a bit of a query ask any question is a good question so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video